Today, John and I are with Manny Pacheco, our Hollywood extraordinary, knowledgeable, font of information, Manny Pacheco. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that guy. Right yeah, there. That, oh, that guy. Yeah. yeah hey, that, Manny, you, you know I'm a big fan of Westerns. And you, um, I was yeah. looking back at the, uh, was it the Great Train Robbery? You know, it was one of the first Westerns, if it wasn't the first Western. And of course, that's famous. But boy, they're, they're still making Westerns. It's a classic genre. Um, and Hollywood, of course, has treated the, the West with with little dignity, I think. They just I think I think they've been very glamorous, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think they've been tried to yeah, every once in a while you'll see a film that said this is that captured the real West. But most of the time, you know, come on, it's on a back lot and uh and they yeah, yeah. have the real West. But, yeah, but John, let, let me go a little bit further than John. I I've seen a lot of stuff and read a lot of stories about the fact that the uh uh, Storylines uh, on real characters tends to be extraordinarily far fetched uh, uh, compared to what really happened. So, what say well, you, Manny Pacheco? Well, you know, I kind of lean to where Art's going with this. I mean, honest to gosh, think about the old West and its in its in its reality. Let's let, let's just look at it from a non cinematic point of view. Dusty trails, no pavement. Uh, towns that are spread out for lots of miles. In fact, ranches are spread out by miles, but the towns are, you know, it, it, it's a, they're 20 miles from town, these big, these big uh, ranches and, and, and homesteads. You got, uh, you got people uh, driving cattle, you know, from one state to another by foot or by horse. And I mean, that's just a smelly, yucky mess. The man in white, the good guy wears the white hat. Really? There was actually a white hat in the old <laughs> West. What? 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 What did it? Did it? Did, did they wash their hat in the in in the stream that was you know twenty miles away? What did they do? I mean, did, did any of these people even look like John Wayne or Randolph Scott or Gary Cooper? Could they really have been that good looking on a diet of beans and coffee? <laughs> I mean, they had to be missing teeth. Well, Manny, I guess that was my point is that they didn't treat the West with dignity. They uh, the reality. They glamorized it, as you they said. They glamorized it. Yes. I mean, you got Gary Cooper. And there's, no ch there's no chance. There's no chance that they ever looked like Roy Rogers or sang like Gene Autry. It's just, it's just not, it's not plausible. Well, I, 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 I will, I will say this, that whole genre of the singing cowboy that came in and they, they weren't really Westerns anymore. They were, hmm. it, remember Melody Ranch? You know, that was a dude ranch uh, where people would go to get divorced or something like that. that that's, I'm not sure those are Westerns. Well, let's get back to the original concept. I think a more accurate portrayal in these movies was that the best friend looked like what actually Westerns look like in the in the 19th century. I Gabby think everybody Hayes? looked like Gabby Hayes <laughs> and Walter Brennan and Walter Andy Brennan. Devine. They looked hey, like the band. The band. You were you were lucky to take a bath on Saturday, and that's yeah. only if you were in town. You, in one scene of Red River where Montgomery Cliff walks in to collect the money because he's actually moved cattle from Texas to, uh, what is it, Missouri. Yeah, he's, he's there with Harry Carey inside the office, and he looks up going, wow, we haven't even seen a roof in three months. I mean, they're looking up, and they're like, fast. That's, to me, that's real. That's something that would, would have been, that would have been real. But. Have you ever spent time with a cow, much less a whole group of cows? They smell. Yeah. <laughs> and what I really love is those happy endings where those girls, you know, the 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 ingenue comes running into the arms of the of the cowboy. Ew. I mean, really, ew. <laughs> that, that they just couldn't have smelled good. But what about, what about all the shootouts where that musky odor? I mean, I don't know. Well, all the shootouts where the where the hero 
uh, it's in the middle of the street with a six gun, and there are guys shooting him, shooting at snipers from the roof, and there were you know the, the twenty people around. He died. Okay, he didn't make it. <laughs> or if he had a posse with him, maybe they shot up all the other people. They seem to oh. leave out uh, uh, most of that. So the oh, realism, think... the realism uh, is uh, kind of missing. But then again, the westerns are an American tradition, and they're fun. But you know what? I think Mel Brooks kind of got it right with that bean scene in, in, in Blazing Saddles. I mean, that to me is, to me, that is the most accurate depiction of the Old West in that movie, is the bean scene, because that's exactly what would have happened. Mm. <laughs> Do you remember? I, honestly, Manny... I think, I, I, one thing, they, they looked like Mongo. Yes, that's, they did. That's what the cowboys look like, like Mongo. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I can't remember the name of the movie, but Kevin Costner played a uh, a young uh, cowhand to um, to a, a more famous older actor. They go into town, and for some reason, there's a shootout. So and the wrong. shootout isn't the shootout isn't just bang bang, you're dead like most westerns. It devolved into chasing each other all around town hiding, shooting through windows, anything. That, to me, was a realistic shootout. Yeah, and that was called Silverado, I think you're thinking. So, of. Thank you. Thank yeah, yeah. You. you know, that's the other thing I have a problem with. These these shootouts in these in these towns where the people go hiding, where do they hide? Those towns aren't big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're really not all that big. They're basically, you know, you, you, you uh, gallop in, you gallop out, that's it. That's the town. Right. Where do these people hide when the actual shootouts are going on? And then, when, how does the how does the, uh, the whole town know that the last person's been shot? Because they all seem to come running out at the same time, like, "Oh, it's safe now." I, I don't know. I just heard a gun shot. Or oh, that's the other thing too. I realize that maybe this is realistic, but did they really shoot guns into the air? You know, that, you know how dangerous that is. Oh, and one other thing. It's another thing I have a problem with. How come the horse never gets shot? Are they that good of shooters? Yeah. The horse never gets shot. It's always oh, the person yeah. on the horse. The horse always gets back up. <laughs> that's that's because the ASPCA goes all the way back to 1840. I don't know. Right, they, had a, they had a stronger union. I think they had a stronger union. I'm just union. telling you that horses are bigger than people, and they get missed all the time. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, back then, a horse was more valuable than a person. Well, that might have been the case. And you know what else? Speaking of those baths that you had to take every Saturday, would you want to spend a long time in a cramped stagecoach? Ew, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have just, I am telling you how they portray the West as this kind of almost sanitary situation with dust flying everywhere and, 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 and cows traveling everywhere. And well, they, they could get away with that because there was no smell of vision. There was okay. <laughs> so 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 Manny Manny now that now that you've bragged on the lack of realism in all these movies, don't you think you owe our audience an apology for now having burst their bubble? They'll never be able to watch a western again no, the same way. Are, like science fiction, westerns are great escapist in terms of movie t storytelling. The the stories mm -hmm. are romantic. And yeah. there's, there's a definitive good guy and bad guy in these movies. And, and I understand from the storytelling aspect, they're, they're very romantic. But realistically, come on, really? <laughs> well, they, you know what? They are an American fairy tale. And, and yes. they are uniquely American in the, in the setting, at any rate. And the fairy yes. tale isn't so unique, but the, the setting is unique. But now that I watch Westerns, all I can say is I love them. They really are very, very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to watch another one right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, See you soon, well, Manny. Happy travels to you, Manny. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.